lovelies welcome back to my channel and to my second queen of decals design video in this video i'm going to show you how i created that gorgeous spring yellow design so no messing straight in with it and i've actually kept this video at real time today because it was quite a short one as i filmed it and i thought huh, why not <laughs> so i'm starting off with my yellow acrylic and i am using sponge cake from team gorgeous and all i can say about this one is wow this is the most beautiful pastel yellow i mean for spring nail designs this is a must-have in my book rachel and the team gorgeous team are amazing at um creating these different colors and the quality of the acrylics are fantastic and this one is just one of those that i am so in love with i will be using it on my nails um in the very near future so i'm doing a bit of a fade of this acrylic down to about halfway down the nail uh, and i want a slightly glassy tip uh, so I'm just wiping away any that I faded too far, just putting that blend in back in where I need to and now I'm just going to add a little bit more acrylic where the colour needed a little bit more depth. Um, when I do my fades like this I like to work the acrylic at a bit of a jaunty angle, mainly because I like to say the word jaunty. <laughs> Give my brush a clean out and into the decals. Loving this sheet of decals. Um, they'll be back in a minute. <laughs> and using my stalk scissors, I'm going to use this very pretty sort of orange and yellow floral design. So I'm just going to cut them out, cut it out even as near to the image as I can so I haven't got lots of excess. Now, apologies, I keep sort of half going out of shot. I was finding it really difficult to cut under the camera. Um, and I'm using stalk scissors, you can get these from Glitter Planet. Once it's cut out, I will hold my little image in my tweezers and hold that in the water for about 30 seconds. Now because I've kept this at real time, this 30 seconds is going to seem like forever. <laughs> so I'm just quickly going to say, having now used these decals a few times, I am loving them. The quality is amazing. The images are gorgeous they are well worth trying especially if you're a bit decal me mad like myself once that's done i'm just going to drain off the excess liquid well water on my paper towel and then slide the image off the backing and using my tweezers placing it onto the tip where i want it and gently pressing it down these are very fragile, so you want to be gentle. You don't want to drag and push. You just want to pat into place. Um, and if you do need to lift, move them, you want to carefully lift them, but try and place them as best you can the first time. So there we go. I'm going to leave that to dry off. And now we're going to get into some sparklies and some glitter. Uh, now this is one of the best spring glitters I've come across so far this year. Uh, this is Mad Hatter from Smiley's Glitters. Uh, and it is sort of, it's got mylar pieces and neon butterflies. And I thought it was going to tie this acrylic colour and the decal together beautifully. So I've just added a little bit of wet acrylic, <laughs> obviously wet, <laughs> um, along that line and then using my wet brush I'm gonna just pick up some of that glitter and pat it on where I want it. Now I want to make sure the butterflies are visible so oh spare butterfly save that for later. <laughs> so I'm sort of picking those up individually and adding them on top where I've got the glitter placement how I want it. Um, the butterflies were not sticking as well as I wanted so in a second I'm just going to add a little bit more acrylic because it was just starting to dry um, and that's why I was having trouble here we go so just a little bit more uh, keeping it really wet as well because we don't want to be building up the bulk as I will be um, capping this so same process into the um, 
glitter, placing it where I want it and then I'm going to sort of go in, find some butterflies and place them on individually. For anyone wondering, I'm using my Liz Guild CJP brush, or CJP Liz Guild brush, whichever way around you want to say it. Um, this is a really nice brush. It's a slightly bigger one than what I would normally use, um, but you can still, I mean, picking up those individual butterflies and doing any design work with this, it's perfect. It's a really good all-round brush in my book. Sorry, you got a really nice view of my hand there. Please don't look at how dry my um, cuticles are looking and how grown out my nails are. <laughs> um, there you go, nice view of my fingers. So I'm just sort of getting in, trying to pick out butterflies here. Um, and adding a little bit more glitter just where I need it. Oh, a nice neon yellow one. So there we go. I think I'm happy with it. Yeah, there we go. So glitter out the way. I'm now going to cap this. So I am using a fairly wet, uh, fairly dry bead, sorry, over top of the decal because I just wanted to make sure the colours didn't smudge or run. Uh, and then I'm just capping as I would um, normally cap. So it did leave the glitter to sort of set in place a little bit first because once I'd got my butterflies how I wanted them, I didn't want to come in, cap the cap them and move them all around. So just going in with a second bead now. Oh, putting a butterfly back in. <laughs> there we go. Then I'm gonna go in with a second bead. Because this is a display tip and not a natural nail, I am not worrying about structure, I'm not worrying about an apex, I'm just making sure everything is nicely capped. Um, so, so apologies here, um, I, I had to move where I was filming so I was a little bit out of my normal angles. Um, I'm just capping all of this, uh, making sure it's all nicely level, smooth, doing lots of work with the brush so I have minimal filing to do. Um, and then I will be filing off camera. I'm just adding a little bit more. Um, there we go. So just blending it back so that it's nice and blended together, no uh, sort of lumps, bumps, um, joining lines or anything like that. There we go. And once all the glitter turns matte, you know you've capped it nicely. Uh, and there we go. I think I'm just going to add a little bit more, I clearly wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, so once I have finished with this, I am going to cap it. Uh, I'm not, this is capping it. I'm going to file it off camera and then we'll be back to do one of my favourite bits because it's top coat time. I love top coating because this is where the magic happens and the whole design comes to life. And how gorgeous is that butterfly glitter? I love it. <laughs> So I'm using my Team Gorgeous Top Gloss, it is my favourite one to use. Just applying a nice thin coat across the nail and I'll pop it in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds and then you can see the finished design. So there we go, that's it from this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll pop links to everything I have used in the description box. Please give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. I will see you in part three very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Mwah!